Probably the big Lloyd news Lloyd out of Lloyd HTC Lloyd. this year is the uh, Flyer. It's their first tablet <laughs> machine. They, they did some convertibles, some uh, Windows-based convertibles with touchscreens, you know, in the past year. This is their first full-on Slate device, and it runs Android 2.2 with HTC Sense. But there's a lot going on here, uh, way beyond stock Android or even the Sense that you're used to on HTC smartphones. So we're going to go get a demo. Uh, they don't have this out for people to play with. They've got this one running in demo mode under the uh, glass here with the laser lights over it. Uh, but we're going to get a, uh, well, my hands won't be on, my eyes will be on, but we'll get a live demo of what the HTC Flyer tablet can do. Aluminium on the body. Plus, on the back, we have the 5 megapixel camera. We have the speakers, the support for the micro SD card. Here you have the, US, the standard USB, but with support of the HDMI, HDMI. so with an, with an adapter on top of it, you can stream out the HDMI to an HDMI of TV. Yeah. Uh, you have the front-facing camera, 1.3 megapixel. In here you have the soft keys, but if you move lens keys, the soft keys will move on the bottom of the device. So they will follow the orientation of the screen. Yeah, nice, very really nice. In terms of the software, uh, this one runs on a, on a gingerbread with our HTC Sense on top of it. The HTC Sense has been uh, developed and implemented just for this tablet so that we can have this 3D kind of feeling uh, UI. If you see it in a portrait, in a landscape, you can better see the, the yeah. kind of 3D feeling. In terms of applications and like widgets, what I can show you is, for example, the weather widget. The weather widget. Weather widget. The weather widget. <laughs> the, I have the jumping uh, internet connection, so sometimes it doesn't really get it because uh, I tapped in the wrong place. Weather widget. If I don't get the connection with the server, it doesn't know what weather it is. So I can kind of show you the... It's beautiful outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful outside. You see, it's beautiful everywhere. Because otherwise you have an animation depending on the weather. So if it's raining, you have the rains and everything. You can kind sing of and dance because it's beautiful. Which would be the yeah, exactly. Another application uh, widget I can show you is the music widget. In here I have the old recent played albums so that they are very easily to access. So after a few minutes of a few days of using the device, probably you will listen to the one specific album you can directly access from here. Quite straightforward. Can you keep it on the table? Uh, I can keep it on the table, it's in time for everyone. No, because I can uh, do the portrait and the landscape. So if you move this side, it's better. Well, I'm not going to do I'll do it anyway, so no problem. I'll be on the day. This is the picture uh, widget. I can actually scroll the picture or tap in and open the picture. What is nice is that over every picture, I can actually use the pen and take notes. So I can write. Right. I can then share the picture, I can send it to Facebook, I can uh, send it by email and everything. So the pen comes with the device? It comes together with the device, together with a white leather pouch, you can see it here. I don't have it in hands, but it's, it's there. It, it all comes together. What widgets and application I can show you is actually very nice, is the book application. So, uh, they always come up already with the notes, so I can make my story, but you can like read like uh, all the normal ebook readers. But what you can do is you can actually you can take notes on the, on the page. So you can, using the lower button, you can highlight text. That's why I need to be the notes. You can highlight text. And the notes are actually linked to the ebook so that afterwards you can review all the notes that you have done. That's why those are all the, the previous notes. And, uh, what kind of content uh, is the ebook store? Cobo? It's Cobo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the ebook application. What I can show you is the notes application. This is very useful during meetings. What, what I can do. Huh? 
Huh? It looks very messy. Yeah, we, we're taking like 25,000 notes every time. <laughs> I can create a new note and I can relate it to a specific meeting in my covenant. So that if you have different entries, you can simply decide which one is this note related to. This is the application. You can take you can actually type in using the soft keyboards. You can use the pen to select the text. Then you can copy paste that one. Or, yeah. of course, you can use the pen. Different kind of styles, but you can take notes and sketches. Colors. That's nice. But a very nice feature in this application is that you can record. So now we are recording meetings, so you can record the audio. And that's, that's fine, it's still easy. But the funny thing is that a very cool feature is that now I take a note. Okay. When I'm, I'll be back home later on, I don't know what, when I took this note. Yeah, it plays the audio. It plays it on the playback, so that whenever you arrive at the right moment, when I took the note, a little image will appear and will tell you, in this moment, you took that note. And that's really useful because now you after... Now you hear the pen on the device. It's <laughs> Those are all the, the notes that have been taken, they are shared by um, every note. So that's why we have a lot of notes here, because everyone is demoing. So my note now just popped up in all the other devices because we are using all the same accounts. So if you have your personal laptop, or PC, you can simply sync within all the, the different devices. Skin for Evernote. It's, it's like a skin for Evernote. No, it's simply skin, uh, synced. application. Here we have all the titles that are in the device. Actually, I only have trailers, but you can tap, watch a movie. Okay. You have the surround system. You can, of course, go farther backwards. You can actually purchase the movie. Of course, you can credit card details and everything, you can download the movie. What is actually cool is that, first of all, you can start watching the movie while you're downloading it. Almost a stream. Then, now we are downloading it here because we have Wi-Fi. What if we leave the, the area? We don't want to download two gigs via 3G, right? You can pause it and resume later on, later, later at home. So at least, you save data. Then I add the... Snapbooth application. Here we use the front-facing camera, so we take mark somewhere. Smart. You can apply, you can apply these different filters or, of, um, or effects. You can take a single photo or a series of four uh, different pictures, like in a row. Or what we can do, what I can show you is actually the video for the. Um, on live uh, client that we will have on the device, gaming. the gaming one. But it's a video. It's a video. I don't have the client. I can show you the video. But I have camera shots for some reason. Do you like it? So, this is the video. On live is this gaming cloud service. So you actually only download the, the client in here. You don't download any games. The games are everything in the cloud. All the computing for the game is done yeah. in the cloud. You have to be online to play a game? You need to be online. Well, everything is online. And you play online. Quite a bit of bad news. Yeah. Quite a bit. You can play on the train. In the program. You on the plane. Solitaire. I would play on Wi-Fi. Can you show the other side of uh, the one second, uh, 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 so now he's, he's activating the soft controls on the uh, yeah. so much, uh, actually it's, it's really high quality game. So you can play the game on the device. You can see you have the controls on the device. You need to be on Wi-Fi. I, I wouldn't do it on 3G. I don't think it's going to work on 3G. But 
what you can actually do what they've done in this demo they have another device here that is connected by HDMI to an HDMI TV then via Wi-Fi you can connect flyer to that device and then stream via the device HDMI the video of the game into an HDMI TV so that you can use the flyer as a controller and just watch at the big screen and play furthermore what you can do is that actually you can have a somewhere, I don't see, a Wi-Fi remote, so Wi-Fi controller. So you can pair the Wi-Fi controller to the to flyer, sleep flyer on the side, and player on the TV. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm going to uh, what, what do you need? The screenshot. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's a long day for you, I know. Long two days? Yes. Yeah. So, wherever you are in the menu or in an application uh, like the browser, what you can do, you can actually tap on the screen with the pen and you get a screenshot of the, of the display so that you can then write notes, you can write whatever you want, and then you can save it, you can share it by uh, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Picasa, <laughs> and all by email, simply. Or you can print it if you have a wireless uh, printer, or you can actually discard it and finish. <laughs>